Divine Truth Assistance Group. Group Assistance Sessions Putting Principles of Divine Truth into Action. This recording is from the Understanding God's Loving Laws Group and is part of an Education in Love series. In the Introducing Order Principles presentation, Mary introduces the Order Principles session, lists each principles to be examined, and summarizes other presentations regarding attitudes to law and the human law hangover to be included in the two-day session. Recorded on the 22nd of November, 2016, in Newseville, Queensland, Australia. So, my job now, just for the next half an hour, is to just introduce you to this concept of what we're going to be talking about for the next couple of days, the type of principles, basically. So I'm just going to... It's not a big time to understand all of the concepts because Jesus is going to go into it in a lot more detail, but it's really just like a... Um, primer if you like okay this is what this is what it's all going to be about and hopefully again putting it into some kind of context for you okay so this set of principles um, basically all the principles apply to all of creation but what we're going to do is now start to hone you in on the human soul and so you're going to start to learn order creates order in the universe. All these principles create an order for things. But what we're going to try and do is help you understand how you fit into that order, how the human soul, how it fits into the universe itself. Okay? All right. So, again, just a little reminder of our conceptual diagram. God's character governs the principles, which then govern the laws that have a hierarchy. And you're going to start to learn about this hierarchy, not only of law, but of creation as well in your next session. So we're going to be talking a lot more about hierarchy. And we're going to focus in on the human soul in this next two days. All right. All right, so we're going to talk about how the human soul fits into the universe, how it affects the universe. So you can see that's different from how it fits in. It's also the effect we have going outwards. How it affects the lower creations within the universe. And then what is the role of the human soul in the universe? Which is a pretty awesome thing to really discover, isn't it? Like a lot of us have a lot of questioning about that. Why was I created and what's it all about? And this next two days starts to give you some ideas about that. Okay. All right. Now, what I need to do is run you through some definitions. Again, don't get too caught up in it. It's just we're trying to, you'll notice we're trying to familiarise you with concepts and then take you deeper into the concepts as time goes on. And that's what this whole process of understanding God's principles is really like. Um, it's, it's just opening up more and more to these things. So human will, but you guys should probably know a few things about human will by now. <laughs> There's a whole group on it, but um, let's talk a little bit about it. The human has been given the gift of free will. Many and many of the gifts and responsibilities that we have been given and the responsibilities that we have actually pertain to the fact that we have a free will. They're in place because of our will, if that makes sense. We have a will, therefore, we have these gifts and these responsibilities. And how we use it affects how those gifts and responsibilities come into play. Many principles apply to the human soul because it has the gift of free will, just as I just mentioned. And the principles presented in this session have a direct impact upon the human soul. So they're affecting you right now. All right. Sound all right with, with human will? This is what you need to know. Now, this next definition is very important, as you'll learn in the next couple of days. So I'll bring it up and I'll go through it with you. This is about self-responsibility. So self-responsibility is the law-based requirement of self-awareness to seek truth, love and understanding of all principles of love and law and the loving ownership and expression of one's will, desire, passion, emotion, attitudes, intentions, thoughts and actions in harmony with God's principles and law. 
So that's kind of different to what we were, when we were growing up and someone said, you've got to be responsible for yourself, hey, what they were talking to us about, yeah. But what I want to really highlight with you, just to reflect upon, as I said, Jesus is going to expand on it more, is that it is a law-based requirement. So it's not optional, actually, in God's universe. The law requires it of you and will actually enforce it of you at some point. And the second thing I would like to highlight to you is that it's a seeking. It's a seeking of truth, love and understanding of these principles of love and law. So it's not just like, oh, yeah, okay. No, it's a seeking. It's an inquisitive desire, an open-hearted feeling. I want to know. And the third important part of that definition is that it's the loving ownership and expression of myself. So it's not just seeking to learn, it's also wanting to be myself, desiring that, passionately doing it in a loving way. Okay? So they're the key things to really start to reflect upon about self-responsibility. And you're going to learn how these principles enforce that for you in the next session and then in our final session as well. Yeah. Okay. All right. So... As you know, we've had the foundation principles already. Who remembers the eight that there were? Love, truth, life, development, economy, function, permanence and scope. Awesome, you guys. That's awesome. All right. Our next lot of principles is going to be hierarchy and governance. So you'll hear about them today. And what you're going to see that is really cool for me, <laughs> is that you learnt in your final day, in your final um, presentation of the, of the last session about scope. And what you're going to see is that scope makes way for hierarchy. And then governance is based upon hierarchy. And then responsibility is attributed based on governance and compensation works within it all, or works over it all. So it's actually quite fascinating how it all comes together. Yeah. All right. So that's going to be our next two days, order principles, and this is where to focus your, your attention for this next two days. Then in our final session, so days five and six, we'll talk about human will, desire, redemption, and transformation. And you'll see again that a lot of what you've um, heard about here has been built upon here and then this stuff brings it all into a whole other level of self-responsibility. You get to really understand what that's all about and the gifts and, and responsibilities that are involved there. Yeah. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to briefly um, define what we're going to talk about in each of the presentations. So, hierarchy. There's a hierarchy of laws and a hierarchy of creations within the universe. So it's not a single hierarchy. There's the laws and the creations. And you're going to learn how they come together. Jesus is going to outline and discuss how they're inseparable. They're joined and interrelated and build upon the foundation of scope. They apply to all creation, but again, we're going to be drawing your attention to the human soul, how, how you fit within this hierarchy. Sound all right? Yeah, okay. Governance, as I've mentioned. Since we've been given power over creation, over all other creation, whether that's just a potential or it's realised, and the potential to create, Humans are also bound to additional laws regarding the governance of other creations. Makes sense, really, doesn't it? We can create, we have power over other creations, and this is what governance is all about. The, cert the laws that operate upon us because of that. Okay. Responsibility. Again, since we've been given power over all other creations, 
and we have the ability to use our will to make choices and decisions affecting other creations, we're also responsible now for the way we've exercised our will in making those decisions and choices. And finally, you'll hear about compensation. Now, lots of you probably heard bits and pieces about compensation over the years, but this discussion that Jesus is going to give you is a very well-rounded understanding of what compensation is really all about. It's not a, you've heard about it in terms of the law of compensation, but this is the principle of compens compensation, which governs a lot more than the law of compensation, actually governs all laws. Okay, so since we must choose to take actions, we must. It's, it's, it comes from the free will gift. Whether we like it or not, we must take actions either in or out of harmony with love. And such actions potentially affect other humans and other creations. We are compensated for loving actions and penalised or corrected for unloving actions. And you'll learn about how that's actually loving as well. The, the correction is actually loving to not just ourselves, but all of creation. So there's a, there's a lot of purpose for this, for this um, principle to be in place. All right. You're going to have another two presentations in addition to hearing about those four principles. And they are a follow-on from what you heard about in our last day together, which was the human law comparison. So I'm sure you've probably seen it in your, um, in your outlines by now. The first one is law-related attitudes and emotions. Now, anyone who read that um, outline, did you find it interesting? Yeah, just to compare how all the different players, um, what they feel about each other, and you can understand why it gets confusing, hey? Yeah, yeah. All right. So it's got, we're going to examine the relationships between the primary ent entities involved with law, including God, the lawmakers, the law enforcers, all of us collectively as humankind, and then us as individuals. And you'll see that we have like certain ideas about how everyone else should act, and then there's ideas about how I should act. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, so all of that in relation to law, lawmaking, law enforcing, and obedience to law which is another big way of stirring up the pot <laughs> before we then talk to you about the next session in this series, if you like, the next presentation in the series, which is all about the hangover. And by then, I reckon you'll be starting to get quite sensitive to the hangover itself. Yeah, because hang by the hangover, we're really referring to the emotions that you have, that you carry with you, that are quite heavy in relation to law, and how that affects your relationship with God. Yeah, yeah. So let's see what we've got on the slide here. So we're going to examine how human attitudes and emotions towards human law prejudice our attitudes and emotions towards God and God's law. The subsequent result is more pain and suffering for humans. As we mentioned in Developing My Loving Self, all pain and suffering comes from what? Sin, my sin, yep. So when we break law, we automatically sin. So while we have this hangover, we oppose law, we create more sin, we have more pain and suffering. So that's why we're talking to you about it, to try and help you identify some of those resistances. Okay. All right, well, I've flown through that and given, making up some time for Jesus. But I think um, the key things that we want you guys to begin to start... Um, reflecting about is this concept of self-responsibility and the fact that your human will makes your will, makes you a unique creation in God's universe. And because of that, these principles are quite pertinent to you. These four principles we're going to talk about, hierarchy, governance, responsibility and compensation. All right. So again, we've got our diagram. Here we are in the centre of the action, governed by all these laws. And the hierarchy is very essential to what you're going to learn about your responsibility and how you govern. So that's coming up. All right. So 
while foundation principles formed the foundation for the entire universe, order principles formed the foundation for the principles that govern the potentials of the human soul. So the third session is all about the potentials of the human soul. So our soul-specific principles in our final two days is all about your potentials. But these principles, they form the foundation for those last set of principles. Make sense? Yep. And this session will address how the human soul and other creations fit into the universe itself. So you start to get an order of things through learning about the order of principles. Sound okay? Any questions on that? No? You good? All right. Now, here we've said that we're going to present, with, present you with a summary, just like you did in the first session um, of each of the principles. We would love to, and we're going to spend a lot more time in our studio sessions together, uh, talking through that entire outline, the objectives, what it reveals about God. Because as you can see, there's a lot of good information there, isn't there? But we just don't have time. We could literally spend, well, a week on each principle, or maybe a year on each principle, you know, you could spend... When, when we finished the outlines, I said to Jesus, like, this is a great textbook. Each principle could be a whole chapter. And he said, well, each principle could be a whole book. And then it was like, well, each principle could be a whole library. So, you know, there's a lot more to say, as we keep saying. But we're going to have the summary. And then instead of giving examples, we're going to set with, stick with our routine of actually going to your questions. We see you guys are asking tons of questions. And it's a great way to just hopefully personalize, help you in your grasping of the principles and understanding. And in our first group, we went through a ton of examples for, of our examples. So if you want a really good grasp of this, we always recommend watch both group one and group two because we do cover different things just due to the nature of it being a different group in each, in each one. Yeah. Okay, as I said, it's a very basic presentation of the subject. We're talking about the factual truth about these principles, but it's designed to inspire you to more, to more reflection and inspiration and investigation. Um, and as Jesus has already mentioned, there's a lot more principles that we just don't have time to discuss, but these are some of the ones that we feel help you get some building blocks of where to go next. All right. We'll have another short break now, and we'll start in on our presentations of principles. The next presentation is going to be your hierarchy principles coming up. Um, yeah, so we just have another, we need to switch over and stuff, so we'll have another 10 minutes. Jesus is already looking at your questions to, uh, to sort it out. And uh, we'll see you back at midday. <laughs>